So we now have this uh, new application for iOS and Android called Vital PBX Connect, made only for Vital PBX 4. So this is our new mobile client for Vital PBX. Uh, let me go ahead and jump into a demo and uh, um, we will be able to see Vital PBX Connect going into action. Okay, so I am now uh, recording my, the screen on my phone. So you would be able to, you will be able to see what I see with uh, uh, concerning the Vital PBX Connect application. Um, so here you can see that we have the Vital PBX Connect application installed. In this uh, example, I'm going to be using an iPhone uh, for, this, um, for this specific demo. And now we will go ahead and open the, the uh, application. And as you will see in uh, just a moment, uh, the first thing that we are shown with uh, is our username and password login or be able to scan a QR code. Uh, the easiest way to use uh, the, this uh, application will be by scanning a QR code that we create within uh, Vital PBX itself. I'm not going to go uh, very in depth on uh, the configuration of everything. It, this will have its own video respectively and we also have a blog article that explains everything which is also linked uh, down below. So um, the, we, we now ha already have a QR code generated on our computer. Uh, you will be able to see it here. So uh, this is a device that, uh, is, vi that uh, is a Vital PBX Connect device. We find the Vital PBX Connect uh, application already, uh, module uh, already installed on this system. And we, and we came over to the devices uh, menu. You're, uh, under settings, you're able to uh, set up the domains uh, where the provisioning is going to, uh, where the, uh, your server is located. So your registration server and such. Uh, so here I have this device. Uh, I'm going to click here to see a QR code. And now on inside of my device, I'm going to, I'm going to go back, back to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the QR code button, point it to my screen there. And as you can see, uh, it is now registering uh, the device. And uh, now we have the device registered. And this is the main screen that we have for uh, for this device, it is a um, normal keypad here. You're able to add different uh, extensions. So uh, as favorites for, uh, for a quick dial. So let's say this one is BOSS and the extension is 201. We can enable the BLF so we can have that. So now we have uh, BOSS uh, already as installed and uh, well configured inside of our quick dial so we can have it as BLF. Obviously, right now, I'm the only one uh, using this demo server, so uh, BOSS is currently off call. It's not, it is not in a, in a call at the moment. You can also see your call history, so you can see all of the calls that you have made and uh, all of your missed calls and uh, even recorded calls, since you can record locally inside of this device as well. Then we have the, the keypad, uh, which is our main screen here. You can check your voicemail and you can uh, place calls uh, and start them to make it uh, audio or video calls. If you tap on the upper right hand corner, uh, sorry, on the upper left hand corner, we have uh, our name. Here you can see some voicemail information as well as the do not disturb feature. If we turn that on, you can see a DND tag, tag uh, on top of our name. And uh, there you have it even on the main screen. I'm just going to turn that off. Uh, and then on the upper right hand corner, we have three dots. Uh, these three dots will represent uh, the uh, settings for the application. So here we have uh, various settings. I'm not going to go over everything uh, at the moment, just to not take even more of your time. This is almost an hour long uh, recording, so um, I don't want to make it even more boring than you might be on at this moment. So uh, the most interesting feature that we have at this moment with this uh, settings uh, would be the phone book. So the phone book, as you might already know, we have a phone book um, module uh, inside of Vital PBX that you can install. It is a, a free add-on and you can also expand it uh, by uh, purchasing a starter license with the extended features or having any of our licensing plans. And uh, you are able to create uh, contact lists, either internal or external. And um, if we take a look into a phone book that we have here on the, on the system, if we come back to our We, if we come back to our system here, we've come tools, phone books, and then uh, check on phone books. Here you can see that uh, I have um, 
four uh, contacts here. So if we so if we now come to into the uh, phone books module, uh, you can see that we have uh, this list of contacts here. This is an external phone book, and then at the bottom we have this URL that we can use um, to uh, to provision this uh, contact information into our devices. And I'm just going to paste this uh, into my um, application. You can see there that I have now pasted that. And uh, I can go ahead and click on done or tap on done. I'll do that twice. So now uh, I will go to the contacts. And here we have uh, the phone book. And next you can see the phone book has all of these, um, uh, has all of these um, contacts that we have created, as you can see on the screen, that these are the same ones. And um, we can add a new contact. So let's create a, quickly a new contact here. So I'm going to call this one Bruce Banner. Let's see if you know who that is. I'm just going to give them a phone number. So it's 616-5578-9. Three, two. So, um, Marvelous Entertainment, and uh, click Save. So as you can see, I have added a new contact. And if we come back into our uh, device, if we uh, refresh it, you will see that we now have that new contact added automatically. It'll also refresh whenever you close and open up the application. And you can safely close the application as this application has a full push server dedicated for um, push notifications. So you are able to receive your calls even if the application is closed. Finally, at the end here, we have a messages uh, page where we can go ahead and send uh, different SIP-based messaging. And this SIP-based messaging can be done with the devices like uh, desktop phones that support it or uh, Bitsy, uh, Bitsy devices uh, that are using our WebRTC client uh, or other uh, Vital PBX Connect uh, applications. So we can use this uh, to go ahead and start um, sending a message. So I can go ahead and type my boss there. And now I'm going to go ahead and send them a message. And we do support emojis. So uh, I am able to send back and forth messages from another to, uh, extension on a, or another user inside of this Vital PBX server that will be able to respond uh, to my different messages. So this is, uh, in a nutshell, uh, the new Vital PBX Connect. Uh, we can also place a call. I'm just going to play a, a dummy call for you to be able to see this um, phone in and how, how, you would, how it would look like whenever you are uh, placing a call. As you can see there, um, we can uh, go ahead and um, go, go into a keypad for DTMF actions. Uh, we can place the call on hold, we can record the call, uh, transfer it uh, blindly, we'll do a blind transfer. Uh, we can also add to the call so we can create a three-way conference. Uh, we can do an attended transfer and then on top, uh, we have the buttons to be able to mute our microphone. Uh, we can set it on speaker. We can enable video. Um, and we can also see our uh, calling information. And if we tap on the eye icon here, we can see a little bit more details about uh, this particular call. Uh, and then down at the bottom, we can go ahead and end the call. So that is the Vital PBX Connect application uh, available for iOS and Android. And uh, you can download it uh, today. Now, we have talked about the Vital PBX Connect application, and we have shown you a demo. Uh, it is a very neat and very robust application. And uh, it allows you to have these um, uh, your, your communications, your phone calls, anywhere you are um, directly on your pocket. And it's a very uh, robust and reliable application for your different phone calls. Now, let's talk a little bit about um, the pricing for this application. So with uh, Vital PBX Connect, this is a software as a service um, piece of software application. And uh, you are able to, you, um, you have, um, and you will need to, to purchase a license 
um, for its usage. So if we come back to our browser here, uh, here you can see how uh, you can purchase the, the, uh, the different licenses. We're going to be sure to post the link uh, directly down below, but this would be located at the store on our website. And here you can see that you can choose between monthly and yearly um, uh, subscriptions. And the Vital PBX uh, Connect application can be purchased in groups of 10 for 12 US dollars. And down here you can change the number of uh, users that you want to have. And of course, you can even go to your desired number. And uh, the difference between monthly and yearly, with year, yearly, you're basically saving two months per user um, whenever you subscribe to it. So, so you would be able, you will be able to purchase the uh, specific, a specific number of uh, licenses uh, divided by ten, or so divisible by ten, um, as you can only do ten by ten increments. And then uh, you will receive your license to to be able to uh, manage the that um, that purchase. Now, uh, if you want to upgrade your, your subscription, you can perfectly do it so, through your uh, account at Battle PBX. So if we come here to subscriptions, here you can see that I have a subscription of, um, active on this account. I can go into the account, click on update, and then I am able to update the uh, number of users that I want to have on this license. Once I click on update, you here you can see the proration, uh, the difference between your current uh, uh, plan and the new one uh, that will be applied on the next uh, renewal cycle and the next uh, billing date uh, and afterwards you, are, you will continue with your new price and um, once uh, you're happy with this the, non the new number of users that you have click on update subscription this will update your license and you will now be able to create uh, more um, uh, registration more, more vital pvx connect connects uh, connect uh, devices so you will be able to generate more QR codes that your customers can uh, scan and register their Vital PBX uh, devices.